At the Centre for Psychedelic Studies, we've developed this new BA called BA Therapeutic Care, which is going to be running at the South End Campus, uh, University of Essex. And uh, it's going to be the first uh, degree of its kind in the country. There's nothing like this in the UK. But we've created this new course because we want to improve the way training and education is done for people that are going into social care, health, education and social care in the UK. Um, there needs to be a proper qualification for many, many young people that are interested in care, they're interested in the caring professions, but there's no particular pathway for, for them from the beginning of their career right through to give them all the knowledge they need about human development and uh, the particular dynamic difficulties of working with people in care. And we see this at the moment in, in the news and, 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 and across the field because there are some difficulties with social care that we're aware of. This course is designed to, to help fix those particular issues and really give people an enriched experience in their career. You'll be studying the whole of human development. So that's going to cover infancy, it's going to cover adolescence, it's going to cover uh, you know, early adulthood, it's going to cover that period when you're working and marrying, and it's going to cover that period of old age, and, and even death and, and bereavement. So you're going, to, you're going to get a really good picture of human development. And this is useful in your career, because it means that you can move across sectors and you have that mobility. You're also going to be studying some of the more peculiar aspects of, of human beings. So why do we become violent? Why do we become aggressive? Uh, why do people act in bizarre ways that seem counterintuitive? We'll be studying these areas in, in very uh, tight modules. So you're going to get a lot of theoretical knowledge about those areas, but it will always be directed toward the actual practice that you're going to need in your workplace. My name is Gary Smith. I'm head teacher of Marketfield School, which is a special school normally based in Elmstead Market caters for children from the age of 5 to 16. I think the first people on the course was way back in about 2007, so the, the impact of people being on the course has been incremental since then. I think we've probably got about four people who have graduated and what's happened is that the, the therapeutic style of working has sort of em embedded itself in the school. So in the first couple of years when people had graduated, they would be sort of a discreet part of the school that people would go to for um, advice, support, um, but since then, um, because more people have been involved over the years, um, there's more or less a graduate in, in almost every classroom now. My name's Aaron McCarthy, I'm a first year student at Essex University and I'm also working in an autism base in a school. I say the best things about studying at the centre is that I'm working in a field that I know I really enjoy and the course directly uh, interacts with that. It's nice to know that the studying that I do in, at university can go straight into my workplace and I can apply it and also get enjoyment out of it. And I feel like by doing this degree, I'm better myself and also the school that I'm working in. My name is Mia Udell and I'm a student at the Centre for Psychoanalytic Studies. My degree has definitely helped me in the workplace. It's given me a greater understanding of human behaviour pre-birth to early infancy, how we're all a product of our earliest experiences with our parents. Um, before the course, um, yes, I was possibly a little bit judgmental towards some parents and their children and looking at some children's behaviour and thinking like, oh, you know, why are they doing that? When you have a greater understanding of the foundations that some of these children have come from, once you're taught that aspect, it does give you a greater understanding. You're more empathic. You're more understanding of these children and their families. And what you then try to do is create the empathy towards these children and their families and to help them. I feel like the degree has helped me in the workplace for the fact that it's built my self-confidence. I'm one of the younger members on my staff team, but I feel that I can contribute with a, a valid opinion and even though they have the experience, I feel that like I bring something different to the table now, now that I have more knowledge. As an employer, what, what the graduates bring for our school, having, having been on the course or being on the course, is, is a much more of an inquiring mind and a different way of looking at things, thinking outside the box, being creative about the solutions to the many and varied problems, difficulties that, that our children and, and their families face on, on a daily basis much more understanding. What makes this course particularly interesting and exciting, apart from the fact that it's taught at the UK's uh, Centre for Psychonic Studies, 
You'll be learning a psychodynamic approach to, to all of the areas that I've discussed with you here. You know, that we'll be covering a whole range of areas. And one of those will be organizational dynamics. Now you're gonna be working eventually in an organization that has to do with looking after people that are under, under stress and duress. And this can often cause stress and duress within the organization. And it's very important that you know how to manage that and how to manage yourself within it. So organizational dynamics will under, so you understand how organizations function, what the primary task is, how you deal with things like authority, how you can uh, follow a, a leader who's directly in the organization, um, how you can take up a particular role in that organization. These are all very important employability skills. Alongside that, you need to learn about reflective practice. How can you begin to be a bit self-critical in a way that improves your practice so you become better at your job? And we're gonna help you with that. We have an actual module on reflective practice. So there are a whole range of different things on this course that you won't find in any other degree. The observational side of the degree has um enabled me to step back to be more reflective instead of reactive. It just gives you a, a better insight into human behaviour and why people actually act the way that they do, especially children. In the way that we teach at the Centre for Psychonet Studies, we, we, we know that you're going to be moving on to some form of clinical work, dealing with people day to day, and this means that you need to have an experience of what that feels like. And we do this in a number of ways. One, we teach in a way which is in sort of relatively small groups. Uh, there's a lot of interaction. We're talking to each other, we're facing each other, and, and getting used to human interaction in small groups. You do a lot of reflective practice where you think about yourself. So it's not just thinking about the theoretical learning, but also what it means to you. What aspects of your own development perhaps do you need to think about? How does that help with your professional practice? Practice. You'll be able to take a placement in an area which is relevant to your particular interest. And when you do that, what will happen is we'll, we'll help you arrange to have a mentor in, in the work placement and they will help you to get organised in the work placement. You'll be there for maybe one day a week, usually within the second term of the course of your study. That will happen in the first year and in the second year. In the third year, your placement will be really about an observation. So you'll observe a single individual that you're interested in, in, in knowing more about and working with. And you, that observation you'll bring back to seminars to discuss with uh, your peer group. And this is a way in which we can help you to understand about, for example, making a formulation about a person, what's going on in their world. And so the course is not going to just be about theoretical learning, but about how you can apply theoretical learning to the actual practice environment. I feel that I personally get the most out of the reflective practice modules because these are the things that I can directly implement in my workplace. I know it's completely changed my outlook of how I've handled some situations in my classroom. I work in a classroom with quite challenging behaviours at times and there have been times where a decision has been made to fix it on the short term but I feel that after talking to my staff having a more reflective outlook on it. We've been able to think further ahead and been able to look how they feel about something. And this means that in the long run, we've been able to help their behaviours and have a better understanding of how they feel about a certain situation. The approach taught by the centre has, has been sort of vital really in giving people an understanding, not only frontline with the pupils, but also understanding more about what the organisation is trying to achieve. Um, a, a special school is by definition a special place. So things that have worked Things that have not worked in, in mainstream education um, won't work in special, so you have to think outside the box and getting a firmer understanding of what that might entail, all of the subconscious stuff that goes on, has, yeah, has been vital in reframing, really. The Centre for Psychoanalytic Studies, 21 this year, um, is a unique centre with an international reputation as well as a national one. It's particularly special because it has a blend of the academic and the clinical, Jungian, psychoanalytic and other approaches and it ranges right from very theoretical, conceptual, historical, cultural studies through to really practical applications of what we've learnt from all of that and how it can be used really helpfully in the real world whether we're talking about with children or with the elderly or with people with learning disabilities. There's a whole range of practical applications of what we teach and what we study that make a very real difference in the social world. 
We have a small friendly admin team in CPS and I know that the students really value the approachable and supportive nature of the admin team in helping them with their studies. In fact, we get to really know our students in CPS and their, their names, not numbers. For me, one of the most important days of our, of our year is the graduation where we see our students at the end of their journey celebrating with their friends and family and they really become part of CPS. The support from the lecturers and the admin staff has been brilliant. Um, good case of I've just done an essay and I was struggling to find one of my readings. I emailed the admin staff and within an hour I got a reply saying where I need to look, uh, what sources might be helpful for me and I also I had a one-to-one -one meeting with my lecturer about this essay and provided lots of good feedback where I went, what went well, what went badly, what I could do better in and the feedback was really really helpful. What I really enjoy about uh, this course is uh, the personal contact with the students. Uh, we teach to a small group of students. Uh, there's much interaction. Students have a lot of input and uh, I can see how they grow personally uh, in the course, uh, both on a theoretical level and on a level of uh, self-awareness. The things I enjoy most about this course is that I'm doing it with other people that have similar interests to me and that all come from a caring profession. We all want to make a difference to the kids that we work with and some, some cases adults. It's a good feeling to know that I'm getting a better understanding of how these kids operate and how they feel about certain situations. And it's definitely a feel good factor for doing this course and being able to apply it into something that you really do care about and there's a real enjoyment about that. Hi, I'm Sarah Coe from Marketfield School and I work as the Therapeutic Support Manager. When I first started, I was an LSA. I went on to university and um, you know, my position's just sort of gone up bit by bit and now I'm sort of a therapeutic support manager within the school. So I do lots of home visits to parents that need support with behaviour or emotional problems for their children. Um, go to lots of different meetings for sort of children in need, you know, on protection plans. Um, yeah, so it's, for me, the course has been invaluable and it was something I'd always, always wanted to do. So. Yeah, for me, as on a personal level, it was fantastic. As well as, you know, it's just been massive for the school, it really has. My personal development, my professional development, there are so many aspects about the course that are just increasing everything that I know about myself, my fellow workers, and even my own children and my own family. This is the sort of course that I could only recommend to everybody looking that's going into a care setting be it a hospital, social work, it, it's a great foundation for moving on. It gives you, yeah, the foundation, it gives you the foundations to move on to all sorts of different careers. I think everyone should do it, especially working with children and adolescents. I, I can see that people who, who go on this course can actually move on to quite a wide range of careers. As a, for instance, we had somebody that was on the course, came here for a year, maybe two, and now works for CAMS. Um, the networking opportunities are fantastic because people come back and say they've met people from health or social care that are doing the course. So the course in itself seems to um, be a career path across the areas of education, health and social care. Because of the variety of approaches within the centre, a graduate of uh, therapeutic care would be able to go on, if they chose, to study on a really wide range of, of master's programmes, ranging from the purely theoretical or cultural right through to something more to do with clinical work with troubled people. Uh, so beyond the undergraduate degree, there are numerous paths that a graduate could take, leading them in whatever direction their particular interests and aptitudes could lead. Due to the diversity and the breadth of this course, it can lead you on to work in a number of different areas. So for example, if you want to work with children in schools or, or, or infants in a nursery, if you want to work with the elderly or adults in social care, people with learning difficulties, this course will enable you to do that. We want to make care in the UK far better than it is currently. We want to really improve it and we're looking for people that can do that. So the kind of students we want to come on this course are people that really are enthusiastic about making a difference in the world. They want to go out there, they want to work directly with people, close in, get to know them and really make a difference to their lives in all kinds of ways. 
So we're looking for people that can think, yeah, sure, but we're looking for people that have a strength of personality. If these are the sort of qualities that you have, and you have personal resilience, and, and you're interested in the academic ideas that this course offers you, then perhaps this degree is for you.